What the? Well, I never seen a bolt action pistol before. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here at the Mifflin County Sportsman Association, and today I'm going to be doing some function testing on some of my three gun equipment. We're getting ready to do the uh, Memorial Three Gun uh, in the first week of October. Now, this is going to be an incredible event. I, my first time there was last year. I was shooting with X Ring, uh, Rick. Uh, Tony from uh, the guys over there at uh, Microtech. And man, what a great group of people as well as everybody else on the squad. Uh, this is one of the best three gun events ever. It's held out there at the Griffin Group. They've got 747s we can shoot from while they're on the ground, they're static. They're training equipment there for uh, people who are doing special operations training. So uh, anyway, last year, uh, this guy right here, this is my Atlas Titan. This is an incredible firearm. On the first stage of the first day, not the second stage of the first day, uh, this thing turned into a bolt action pistol. In other words, every time I shot it, it would jam, stove pipe, or do something. Had to pop, pop, pop. I did a video on it. You guys may have seen it. Rick is your six cover. He was videoing it, and he was like, OMG, this is not good. And it re really made it bad was that we had a lot more pistol events during the day and my reloads were not working. One more. Over here. He did all that without timing out. Fuck that yeah. Was, uh, that was definitely the hardest. Yeah, one. baby. <laughs> what the? Well, I never seen a bolt action pistol before. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. So thank God for uh, Callaway Ballistics. I brought about five or six hundred rounds of 115 grain. Probably not the optimal round that I want to run through this gun, but 124 grain round nose is what I would prefer. Uh, especially reloads because you want to get that equilibrium between recoil and accuracy. Uh, I know the gun's accurate. I know it's accurate with the 124 grain, but I want to test it out to see if uh, this thing will actually run. Now, what I did find out, and it's been a long time in the making, uh, that when I did the first charge and I checked it prior to doing these loads, I was it was like 3.1, 3.2. Somewhere something happened. So what we're doing now is I add, I usually run about 3.8 with 124 grain, okay, through this gun. And that's of, that's a tight group. And for you guys that do reloading, what we're going to do, I'm going to load up these mags. Uh, we're going to test it out. I just want to see if the damn thing will work. If it does, then we're golden. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to run over here to the shotgun range and I'm going to check uh, for point of impact with the shotgun using the, uh, my slugs. And then secondly, uh, and I might just do that here, uh, we're going to test out the, my new AR uh, running with the Callaway Ballistics 55 grain. Uh, I'm not really concerned about the accuracy testing with the 77. Uh, we're going to test that out again next week. We're going to take it out the distance just to double check, double check, double check, make sure. Once that rifle is, is, is perfect, the only thing we're going to do is look at it. Never touch it. Don't do anything. Protect it. Let's go ahead, let's load up these mags, check this stuff out and get to it. Here we go, stand by. So we got these things loaded up. I've had some people ask me, why? Do, what's the deal with the 2011? If you're not familiar with these things, it's basically a double stack nine millimeter. Each one of these things I think holds at least 23 rounds. Um, and what that does is it enables you, one, stack a bunch of rounds in there, but two, it gives you the ability, this pistol is so well balanced, um, it's incredible. 
and uh, I have to hand it to Atlas. Uh, there's a lot of other ones out there, the Nemesis. They've got a couple I can't remember, but and I think Ray is actually shooting with the uh, Atlas these days. Uh, but you can see this guy right here is just absolutely amazing. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to uh, just run a four max, four full mags to it. If I can do that and it's successful, then I know we got ourselves a winner here. The idea actually is to keep all my brass that we can. So let's get to it and uh, shoot some. Here we go. Stand by. All right. So I know, I know. All right. So I know this is kind of the boring part, but we're just going to go ahead and shoot it. See how it goes. Here we go. All right, and another thing about a 2011, particularly this guy right here, uh, it does not have a last round hold open. Uh, you can buy uh, some followers that uh, can help you out with that, but uh, yeah, not on this thing here. All right, that sounded good. So you always want to do a, a reload. Let me adjust this thing. You always want to do a reload uh, during a movement or wherever you're going. If you're changing from one area to the other, always ensuring that that pistol is pointed down right at all times. So that was cool. All right, here we go again. I like it. I like it a lot. So far, so good. Here we go. Nice. Oh, that was me. <laughs> All right. Pistol is clear. Chamber holster. There we go. All right. So we know that Titan Atlas is kicking ass. Ooh, damn. Uh, try to slow some of those down just so you can see what's going on with the uh, recoils. You notice there's very little recoil with that thing. It's just the balance of the slide. So it's pretty cool. I'm real happy right now because that's one third of the game right there. All right, so one of the things we don't just normally do is blast out there with the uh, wide ass open, but you're measuring out the double taps. So let's see, it would be more like this. So you're going to a paper target you're gonna put two on paper, okay? So it's pretty easy. So you're gonna run over here. Well, unless you hit in the A zone. <laughs> Man, she's running right today. Outstanding. Let's do that shotgun. 